नमस्ते एवरी वन इट्स अबी हियर वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो टूडे सीक्वेंस हैज बिन डिजाइन फॉर दोज हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम हनीटेड डिस्क और स्लिप डिस्क और रप्चर डिस्क ऑल आर द सेम नेम ऑफ वन प्रॉब्लम When we talk about herniated disc it doesn't mean that whole disc is ruptured or slipped only the small area of it affected So before we start this sequence let's understand what is the structure of this disc This is a cushiony structure that sits between the vertebrae in the spine Most herniated discs occur in the lower back but neck can be affected too So there can there are many reasons why people develop herniated disc one is age as people age the disc become more stiff and can be damaged easily Another thing is the lifestyle lack of exercise over smoking and obesity if you are obese it's you will most likely develop this herniated disc so let's start today's first sequence first posture in the sequence is cat and cow when you are practicing cat and cow you have to focus on cat pose specially when you are arching your back in cat pose do not stress so much on your lower back first once you gain strength you can play with the pose also if you are suffering from slip disc or herniated disc the intensive yoga workout is not allowed or not permitted for you it's a gentle it is better if you practice gentle yoga it will help you to strengthen your muscles and stretch the surrounding muscles of the affected disc the next po- posture in this series is shalbhasana or locust pose Shalbhasana has numerous health benefits if you are suffering from slip disc. It helps you to strengthen your lower back muscles. Also the lower end of your spinal cord. At the same time, it helps you to increase the blood circulation in the affected area. So breathing pattern will be like this when you are lifting your torso inhale when you are already in the posture you have to hold your breath inside practice antre kumbhak when you are relaxing you have to breathe out and relax after practicing each posture relax nicely you can relax relax in shavasana or you can if you are practicing seated asanas or seated postures then you can relax in sukhasana or vajrasana don't practice balasana because balasana is not allowed for those who are suffering from slip disc so we practice one more time and then relax This sequence This sequence has been designed for slip disc occurred in the lower region of your spinal cord So all the postures are demonstrated in this series are beneficial for those 
who are having slip disc in the lumbar region or lumbar spine. The next posture is Bhujang Asana. Bhujang Asana also there are two variations of it. One is traditional Bhujang Asana and the another one is you have to keep your legs apart, a wide apart around 2.5 to 3 feet distance between your legs and then you have to inhale and lift your upper body. This is this posture helps to relax the surrounding muscles of your affected disc. At the same time, it will help you to open your lower body muscles as well. The other lower body muscles such as hips, thighs and other lower body muscles. Nice and slow you can make a cushion with your hands and put your forehead on top of it and relax it. The next posture in the series is Ustrasana. The Ustrasana is uh, for the beginner level. If you find it difficult to touch your heel or your soles, Put your hands on your lower back first and try to arch your back. So stand on your knees, legs slightly apart, inhale and try to arch your back while keeping your hands on your lower back. Then slowly try to touch your heel. This posture is very helpful in strengthening your lumbar region, your lumbar spine and the surrounding muscles. Only make sure that you are not overstressing your lower back. After that I like to rest in Malasana but you can rest in Vajrasana or Shavasana. You can practice it 4 to 5 times and then rest in any comfortable posture. We move on to our next posture in this series that is Tadasana. So Tadasana step by step you have to stand straight, interlock your fingers while exhaling raise both hands up. After that exhale slowly and raise your toes then breathing normal. Once you are in the posture normal inhalation and exhalation. Repeat this asana four to five times. It will increase the flexibility of the surrounding muscles. The next posture is Urdhva Namaskar asana in which you inhale and Bend your torso in the backward direction. Be careful while practicing this posture. If any time you feel that your back is hurting, then just relax it or skip the pose. Or don't bend so much. Keep practicing and you will see the difference. That's it for today. I hope this video is helpful. If you like my video, I want to request again to subscribe to my channel which is Yoga with Anubhavi Abhi. I will see you again 